Today we're back with yet another ground hop and oh boy is it a big one. Today we head back northbound, more specifically to Manchester and to Old Trafford for Manchester United versus West Ham. The home side currently sit 8th in the Premier League. Not too bad form wise though, it has improved of course on Thursday, an unbelievable 4-3 victory at Molyneux away at Wolves. Kobe Mainu, what a player. It's been a very underwhelming season so far for Eric Ten Hag's men with only one trophy left up for grabs. The sides are separated by only one point despite being two league places apart. The visitors come into the sat sixth in the Premier League on 36 points, one more than Man United's 35. In West Ham's last five in the Premier League, they've had two wins and three draws. Fairly decent, but of late, of course, getting knocked out of the FA Cup by Bristol City. A draw against Bournemouth. Absolute robbery against Sheffield United. It's not exactly 100% joyful at the London Stadium right now. But they are doing very well in the grand scheme of things over the course of the whole season and are still in the Europa League after finishing top of their group. I could genuinely see today being a high scoring one. It's going to be tight, there's going to be goals and it's going to be a fantastic game I think. Now I've said that, it'll probably be a 0-0 and I'll cry. But here's to hoping it isn't. Can United progress into the European spots or will West Ham solidify their spot in those European spots? Only time will tell. Let's head to Old Trafford and find out.
one and half time. Man United won West Ham nil. It's difficult to say whether it's deserved or not. I think it's been a fairly even game, if I'm honest. Um, I genuinely do think that West Ham have probably had the better chances. I think they've had more balls into the box. They look very, very threatening with Ward Prouch crossing their balls into the box. Same story for Kufar as well. Very, very dangerous down the right hand side for the Irons, but United took their chance. Apologies, I didn't get it on camera. The stewards decided to walk down the front at the same time that the goal was scored, so that was brilliant. I didn't even see it myself. It's ideal. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty even game. You, you get the feeling there's going to be more goals in this because both sides look fairly threatening despite there not really being many clear cut chances. Um, but Anana's been unbelievable today, which he needed a game like this after obviously AFCON and previous situations with him. So this performance is definitely warranted. But can he carry it on to the second half with West Ham wanting to get back into the game? Who knows? Only time will tell. Let's go to second half.
right then that is it for today's match day vlog thank you all very much for watching just a quick apology that this video is coming out on the evening of the next day i have had a very very busy 24 hours since the game so i haven't had a chance to edit it unfortunately so i do apologize for the late upload but what a result that was for man united and what a performance as well i must say west ham for the first time i've seen them this season anyway they offered very very little Threatening balls into the box, Anana had to make a few saves in the first half, but the second half was practically anonymous. I think it probably doesn't help that they do not have a solid striking option. They have Danny Ings and that's about it. I can't quite wrap my head around why they didn't play him. I know he isn't exactly the best man to have up top when you're, you know, aiming for European spots right now. But he's a striker and that's what they lacked in this game. And that's what they've lacked overall and that's where the fans' frustrations lie with David Moyes and not bringing in a striker. They had plenty of time to do so in January and they didn't. I can completely understand the fans' frustrations. But nevertheless, United were class. What a performance from Garnacho. Hoyland with a fantastic goal. Once again, apologies, just didn't get it on camera. The stewards decided to walk in front of me. As he took the shot. So that was brilliant. Um, but yeah. Great day out. Great game. Happy days. If you did enjoy it. Please do smash like and subscribe for more content like this. And yeah. Have a class rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one.